Hey everyone, can you believe that we are halfway through the year? I know, it's been crazy, it's been uncertain, and I know for a lot of you, it has been really, really hard. It has been difficult, it's been frustrating, and there's still, there's still not a lot of certainty out there. And so as we step into the next half of 2020, um, I'm just wondering, where are you? Like, how is your relationship with God? And I know that during trials and tribulations, um, it can go one of two ways. Either it draws us closer to him, or it can also um, cause us to kind of back away from our relationship. And my hope and my prayer for you that even though these last few months have been really difficult, really hard, uh, there's been a lot of uncertainty, my hope and prayer for you is that you have grown in your faith, that you have grown in your relationship with God and with Christ, and I wanted to just share some things with you. Um, at the beginning of the year, um, I don't, this doesn't usually happen, but there were two passages that really came to mind. And the first one is Psalm 1. And I just wanted to share this with you. Um, Psalm 1, it starts out, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields fruit in season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like shaft that the wind blows away. And I just love that picture. I love the picture of a tree planted by streams of water and the roots are going down deep to get that water. And what the psalmist is saying is that when we have this deep relationship with Christ, when we have this deep relationship with God, that that's the picture that we have, that we're rooted in him. And we, we get to experience that water from the stream, with water from the, the living water. So that's the first passage. Here's the second passage. It's, it's just a verse that just really jumped out at me. This is when Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. And um, they ask him, how, should we, how do we pray? And he gives them the Lord's Prayer. You've probably heard it. But it starts out and it says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, the verse that really jumped out at me, again, at the beginning of the year, it was this. It was, give us this day our daily bread. I, I'm a planner. I like to plan. I like to know what things are um, happening down the road. If I'm not a month out, I feel behind, and it's frustrating. And this passage just really impacted me um, these last couple of months. And so I have this, this picture of this tree by the stream getting nourishment, getting water from the, from the stream, and we also have this prayer of, God, I need daily bread, not tomorrow's bread, but I need today's bread. And, and that's kind of been just, it's been really refreshing for me. And I was thinking about that the other day, and I was thinking, man, how many people don't know how to read their Bible? How many people don't know how to have a prayer time with God? And that just really broke my heart because it's prayer and scripture, and it just serves in an, as an anchor for our souls, for an anchor for our relationship with God. And so I thought, you know what? I want to teach people how to do this. And what I want to do is I want to sit down with you over the next couple months through a series of videos, and I just want to open up my Bible with you. And I just want to walk through how to have a prayer time, how to read your Bible for, for spiritual growth, and just kind of see what happens. I want, to, I want you to be rooted. I, I want you to be pictured by that stream. I want you to be dependent on God for your daily bread. Not tomorrow's bread, but today's bread. And so I hope you join me. Um, we're going to start uh, this. If you sign up this week, I'll send you a, a, an introduction video. And then after that, we'll get started this Sunday, this coming Sunday, the first Sunday of July. And we'll... We'll just have some fun with this. And so again, this is for anybody that wants to develop a, a prayer time, a, 
a devotional time, spend time with Jesus, develop their, their relationship with God. It's going to be, it's not intimidating at all. Anybody can do this. It's pretty anonymous. You just watch the videos. I am going to have a time where we have a hangout and you can jump on those um, via Zoom or you don't have to. And so if you want to do this and kind of under the radar, it's, no one sees you, that's fine too. Um, I want to assure you that this is going to be a safe environment um, for you to be able to pick up a Bible and, and understand it better and develop your, your prayer time. Everyone have a wonderful afternoon and God bless you.